Hello, this is a quick video uh, just to talk about sentence variety um, and the, this uh, document is also available um, online. Um, one that's, thing that's important about academic writing, of course it's important to be clear, but it's also important to vary our sentence structure and sentence length. Um, short sentences are good because they add uh, punch and power but too many of them and it feels simplistic. So we need to have long sentences of different types um, because we want our readers to be engaged in what we're doing. And uh, so repeating one type of sentence or length of sentence does not encourage our readers to keep going. So let's look at two sentences here. The Tsars saw themselves as continuing in the line of Rome and Byzantium, and the church was a vital part of Russian identity. These are two sentences that can be separate, but we'll look at how to um, connect them into a larger sentence or uh, two sentences with a connecting word. Uh, the first uh, suggestion is using a gerund, an ing word like seeing, running, thinking, believing, calling, all of those words. Here we use the word seeing and this uh, gerund uh, seeing themselves as continuing in the line of Roman Byzantium. Uh, begins the sentence. Then the main part of the sentence, the main clause, the czars made Christianity a vital part of Russian identity. We can also use a subordinate conjunction, and in English there are many, many, many. I don't know how many, but dozens, if not hundreds. Some of the main ones are written here because, although, despite, while, as, if, but you can probably think of many, many more. Um, and here we start with the common word because. Because the czars saw themselves as continuing in the line of Roman Byzantium, the church formed a vital part of Russian identity. You can also start with a noun phrase. For Here the noun is um, conception, the czar's conception of themselves, or we could say the czar's self-conception, as true heirs of Roman Byz Byzantine Christianity contributed to the centrality of the church and to Russian identity. So you can turn a gerund into a noun. Uh, you can turn many verbs into nouns. Um, a lot of words in English can be turned into nouns. And uh, academic writing in particular tends to prefer noun phrases. Here are linking words. I call them linking words. There's actually a more specific grammatical term, but we don't need to worry about that. And these connect the ideas in two sentences, but Importantly, they leave the sentences separate. You see here that consequently starts the next sentence um, and it shows how the second sentence relates to the first, but they remain separate sentences. Perfectly fine way to write, um, but you need to make sure that um, these words, however, consequently, furthermore, in contrast, all of these, they do not join two sentences. They keep them separate, but simply show the relationship between the two. If you do want to join the two sentences into one, then you can use a coordinating conjunction. And some people use the acronym FANBOYS, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. The first letter is F-A-N-B-O-Y-S, FANBOYS, if it helps you. And those words connect two independent clauses. You stick that right in between the two sentences with a comma. <coughs> Excuse me. You can also start with a prepositional phrase. Prepositions are generally those short little words like in, on, um, under. Um, and here we are, you're gonna use the word in and a second example using the word through. In the line of Roman and Byzantine Christianity, prepositional phrase. The next one there, through their continuation of Roman and Byzantine, Christ Byzantine Christianity. So we have a preposition starting the sentence. The last one, start with an appositive. An appositive is a noun phrase next to another noun phrase. And one phrase gives extra information about the other. It's like a bonus phrase. So here, self-proclaimed heirs of the Roman and Byzantine church, comma, the czars made Christianity a vital part of the Russian identity. So the subject of the sentence is the czars, and this first part is extra information um, in the form of a noun phrase. And in a positive, a positive just means it's side by side. So we have this noun phrase, self-proclaimed heirs, that tells us more information about the czars. And you can switch the order 
in this second example here, the czars are still the subject, and you put the appositive phrase next to it. Self-proclaimed heirs of the Roman and Byzantine church. You notice that on either side you put commas there. Um, and it works, this, it's basically the same idea, but once again we're changing up our sentence structure to make it more interesting for our readers. So I would encourage you to take a look through your paper and find a sentence that could be um, transformed into another form and see if you can do it. All right, thank you for your time.